Bruh. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. I can hear you clearly. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. So this will be only for 15 minutes or so, so it's not too long. I think a lot of people I meet on this platform are very new. So let me start out by giving a little bit of overview. So because of those things, I think your background is actually a good fit. Uh, but let me actually start off by, can you give me a little bit of an overview of your background? Why did you choose computer science and how did you come across uh, the virtual assistant website and why did you choose to go down that route? Um, first of all, I decided to choose information technology simply because I'm really more engaged into technology in general. Watching. YouTube videos simply about tech, especially Apple or Android or the latest ones. And that's kind of how I got interested of why not try coding. At first, coding was our main or my main goal, of course. And during that time, it was very difficult for me because I don't really have a background. Entering college, especially doing that course for the first time, is definitely a struggle for me. But then after a while of doing it and pretty much practicing somehow with the help of the professors and with the help of my friends, I somehow grasped everything in a span of, I think it's about five months of actual programming. So yeah, I have chose my main specialization of web and mobile development because I realized that with enough knowledge that I have currently now in terms of technology, I think I do have the potential of doing great as long as I keep on doing it and be persistent about it. That's actually a good explanation of why you went into computer science, but why do you want to be a VA? How will it help you in future going forward? I think since most visual assistants are not really focused on doing work, with the use of their computers, right? And I think with enough knowledge, just the fact that I know how a computer works somehow give me the, the advantage of doing well in this type of work with also internet and with enough knowledge of filtering out information online, having a background in that and having not really the specialty, but at least having the, the most efficient way of doing or getting information online is I think should be the main reason of how my knowledge of technology in general would, would help me to be successful at doing the job. Are you currently looking for a programming job or are you looking more for a virtual assistant? To be honest, I really prefer doing the product research more because I think in terms of programming, I'm still just been studying for one year and a half. I think I need a bit more work on that. So doing the product research, I think would be more fitting for me. Why are you looking for a VA position? Are you looking for uh, to gain experience in a real life work scenario? Is it like an internship that you're looking for for a couple of months? What are you looking for? Yeah, I'm actually really looking simply forward for experience since I've never really got the chance to um, experience on a very or very in an actual office setting. Gain experience as well and um, I think it would also be um, a great opportunity for me to really enhance my communication skills as well because right now I really do prefer working alone. I'm not really familiar with group. Well, I do work in some group projects on school, but sometimes I really just prefer working alone and just finish or just to get everything done. And also to simply pass the time with it in this pandemic because I can't really just stay still here. So I even got the opportunity to be interviewed by you. So thank you very much. So yeah. Okay, no problem. How long a uh, period are you planning to work? So do you have a timeline on how long you plan to work? Not really, to be honest, but I think it will, I think it will depend if ever classes start to become a conflict on my work schedule. I think Correct. Would, that would be my, I think, my initial reminder of moving hours on work not really just to conflict my classes so yeah do you have a reasonably good backup or do you have how, how would you handle that situation let's say there is a typhoon that came up uh, on one of the working days between the time you're working and power shuts. how would you handle that situation i think i would handle that situation very um 
efficiently since nowadays every workload is stored in the cloud right so um if ever power outages really do occur i could easily do the job as well on my phone if that's the case or really managing everything very seamlessly for the safetyness of everything every file finished should be stored in a cloud so that i could easily access them to any device that i have right now so yeah so i know like you do a lot of media editing like your website is actually very nice did you create it by yourself or was it like you grabbed photos uh, from other websites and put your put it on your website i sent a website right it's on wix yeah, yeah it's very nice It, it is on Wix, but since it's on Wix, I simply I actually um, used a template on Wix. But I do have a website there. If you somehow manage to click it, the website portfolio that I have within that Wix link, I do do it on Scratch. But most of the photos are obviously for stock images. I do use um, I do use some photos online, but the pictures of me and some um, rare photos of the it it comes from me. So yeah. I heard there's actually apparently multiple islands and different dialects in each of the islands. Yes, Is that yes, correct? Yes, yes, yes. It we do have we do have a lot of dialects dialects here. I am actually from Luzon. I am located at Quezon, Dolores Quezon, nearby San Pablo City. If you're familiar with that. Oh, what dialect do you speak? I do speak Tagalog. I do speak Tagalog. But since we have a lot of dialects here, I am not really familiar with the dialects. But Mostly Filipinos uh-huh. do speak in English here in this part of the Philippines, which which is Luzon. But in other like Visayas and Mindanao, they do have spe- specific dialects okay. there. But I can't really understand. Mm. <laughs> oh really? Oh yeah. That's very interesting. A lot of people down there in Visayas and Mindanao do understand Tagalog, but they then they but they can't really speak it. If you know what I mean, they don't really have oh, wow. a Filipino. I think they I think they do have a Filipino subject or mostly Filipinos. There, but they do speak a different language in general in everyday life. So for us, mm. it's kind of a disadvantage also because we don't also study their language in in contrast. Right. To be honest, most um, great English speakers actually come from Visayas and Mindanao. <laughs> That's I did not know that. I know like people from Philippines speak uh, English much better than a lot of other countries, but you guys actually speak English as the first language. I think that kind of the main reason why a lot of other Filipinos that are living in Visayas and Mindanao do speak English. Well, it's because they don't use Filipino at all. Like they use their mother tongue language, which is the dialect that's present in there. location so yeah so in terms of uh, the compensation so i pr- primarily use western union are you familiar or do you guys have a western union location nearby here we don't really have a western union branch but i could easily find us an outlet somewhere yeah i'm familiar okay i just wanted to check that was the last question okay yeah that's actually all i wanted to talk to you about so i think i will make a decision probably in one or two days i will keep your resume you actually have a very good resume particularly because you have a background in com- programming as well if it does not work out this time i think i'll definitely reach out to you once we have some more programming that's it for today and then i'll talk to you and reach out to you once i have made a decision okay thank you very much thank you so much thank bye. you bye Oh my god. Oh my god.